Shout out to at Modea underscore Shule for requesting this song because you know what? You cannot come to South African Jam Session, Joburg, Cape Town, wherever, and not know the song. So this is a really good one, and thank you for requesting this one. So this song, I would say, is fairly easy to understand. It assumes the style of a minor blues. It's in the key of G minor, and really it makes use of the harmonic minor scale. So we have G harmonic minor, and the melody is based off of this. G harmonic minor, and you want to be able to also play it chordally. You know, I would suggest you do that. Just so that you have access to the chords that exist within the scale, you know, when you're comping and things like that. And just for overall better understanding of the scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the melody first for you, slowly. And on the record, the piano actually starts the song, you know, I think it's just like single hand. Again, it's making use of harmonic minor and landing on the ninth. And the second part is I mean that's literally just walking up the scale and landing on the ninth. Three eleven nine. That's kinda like a G minor pattern right there. And then it mimics the same thing on C minor. And then... This is a walk up again of the harmonic minor scale, starting on the ninth though, which is A. And landing on the seventh of the scale, uh, which would sort of create a G minor major chord um yeah so on the record i hear a lot of the piano makes use of inter like it interchanges chord one from to like a normal g minor chord And so it interchanges between G major minor, G major minor to oh, one minor. Do you say it's minor major? G minor major to G minor seven. So it interchanges the two, and really you can make use of both of them when you're comping. So chord one is G minor, or you can make a G minor major. So we have. I'm just voicing that root seven nine three five but you could totally also voice it like a drop two style like this so well actually we'll just put the if there we'll have to because you you'll if you're gonna play with your left hand the bass line which I am here because I'm playing by myself if not then you could just voice it like this would be a drop two voicing or a cluster voicing so first part and here we have a C minor 9 chord or C minor 7 I can add the 9th because it's an available tension the 9th exists within the key of G minor harmonic so it would be of an available tension um, i mean 
I could play that lower probably. Then we have a, a half diminished chord two, and uh, we have a D7 flat nine, or you could make it sharp nine. And that's the song, really. Uh, at the end, it's a half diminished two five. So it's literally a two five. A half diminished and D7. I'm voicing the half diminished root seven, three, and then flat five. And then for the chord five, I can keep the upper structure here. And I just do the shell of D7. So I'll just play D and F sharp, which will give me a D7 flat nine. But again, you can make it sharp nine. also interchange you know with G minus 6 so a lot of the times when you have a song that makes use of a G minor kind of a scale uh, a G harmonic minor kind of a scale um, that almost always insinuates the idea that you can also use melodic minor which would mean that you could also make it a G minor 6 because harmonic minor that's harmonic minor, but melodic minor would have a E natural. You can interchange these two, you know, especially for a modal song. You want to try to make use of different kinds of modes. So although the song is in G harmonic minor, when you, you're doing things like improvising or comping for improvisers, sometimes you'll find maybe they'll make use of the six of the chord which might lead you to also comp in that kind of a way. So those are all available things to use, even... So all of these are available. When you're improvising over the song, you could obviously use harmonic minor, could make use of melodic minor. You can also make use of these kinds of patterns that you find in the melody. So, so if I'm doing of an idea or could use melodic minor if I were uh, melodic minor did I say that if I'm using melodic minor you'd probably want to make it a G minor 6 or a voicing that I like to do as well is to make it a kind of a suspended chord so moving between G minor and A minor which will also give you that sixth sound so an idea that you can use um, what else you could also use pure minor pure minor would be aeolian so so G minor is a relative major of relative minor of B flat major okay. So on the 6th degree we find G minor. For instance, if I go up the major scale like this, B flat major, I'll 
find G minor. So, meaning I could play B flat major. But I'll start on G. Also, you can superimpose a lot of other things over here, but you know, these types of scales will definitely work. Also, G minor blues can also be useful. But yeah, that's the song. Um, I think it's fairly easy to understand. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I'll see you again in the next video.